guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take the simple dress and turn it into a super functional and beautiful balcony space. We want to make it a perfect spot for relaxing, reading or just hanging out. So let's jump right in and start designing step by step. First, I am going to hide the extra geometry in the scene and I'll also hide these glass railings to make it easier to work. Let's start with this wall. I'll begin by drawing a rectangle with dimensions 1800 by 2900. Then I'll select the surface and using the 1001 bit plugin, I'll create vertical lines. And now let's enter the numbers. First, I select 20 millimeters, then 30 millimeters, then 40, angle 0, and front is selected, and finally click. And just like that, in such a simple way and in a very little time, we have created a panel with vertical lines. Now let's move to the next wall. Here I want to use another vertical panel and also create a space for small flower pots. So first I draw a rectangle with dimensions uh, 500 by 2900 millimeters. I'll select it and uh, using the plugin again, repeat the same method to, with the same numbers. Great! Now uh, from the bottom I'll offset 900 millimeters. And then I'll draw a rectangle with dimensions 300 by 1300 uh, millimeters. And also I'll push, I'll use pushable tools uh, to push it by 30 millimeters. It looks a bit too wide, so I'll push it 100 millimeters inward to make it smaller and uh, much better. Now I'll select everything and make it a component. Next, I'll take a copy of this shelf at a distance of 400 millimeters using the move uh, tool uh, plus control to take a copy. Then I'll tap X3 and enter so instantly get multiple copies with equal spacing with this method. In this section, we can also add a small cabinet for storing some items. So I'll draw a rectangle uh, 200 by 1300 millimeters. Also push it, first push it at 700 millimeters and then push it, at, uh, push it all the way through like this. And I'll push the bottom um, part slightly inward too. Now I'll divide this line into two parts. From this line, I'll take a copy at 5 millimeters. From the side, I'll take another copy at 60 millimeters. And I'll do the same for the other side. This cabinet can be included or not. It really, it really depends on your design choice. For now, I'll hide it to see how it looks without the cabinet. Now let's go into materials. For this panel, I'll use a wood texture because it makes this space feel warm and cozy. The same wood for this panel as well and also for the shelves. For the balcony floor, I'll use parquet. To make it look better, I'll rotate it by 90 degrees. 
Look how beautiful and cozy this is turning out. Now I'll add a few objects to the space. I won't go too far so the video doesn't get too long. You can add and also you can add any objects you like. And here's uh, the result. Look how attractive and cozy it became. This is now a perfect space for evenings, for reading or just for relaxing. The plants really add a refreshing touch to the atmosphere. Finally, let's see it with the whole building, it looks so good. Very simple and easy, we have transformed a plain balcony into a beautiful and functional one. And that's it, guys. We turned a boring truss uh, into a cozy, modern and uh, super practical balcony. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more designs like this. Now drop your thoughts in the comments. Uh, how would you decorate your own balcony? Uh, until next time, keep creating and I'll see you in the next video.